Hey y'all, it's David Hogan, acting coach, photographer, actor. You know I do a lot of stuff. I often talk about self-taping. I'm back to do that. Talking about backdrops today. This is the home studio setup. You can tell I have a big light. Maybe you can't tell, but I'm telling you, I have a large light right over there. That's my key light, and that's why I'm very illuminated on this side and a little more shadowy on that side, okay? So, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm making this video because the backdrop that I have there, it's, it's a little bit dark, it's too dark. I've been using it for a long time. Honestly, I think it's, it does the job. The backdrop is not the most important thing when it comes to your self-tape setup, in my humble opinion, but if you're using one, you have some options. Gray and blue are super popular, and since I have a blue collapsible backdrop, I decided to purchase a lighter gray to replace that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to show you my iPhone feed because most, most folks are using smartphones to record audition videos. And just so you get an idea of what this looks like, it's very dark back there uh, on this feed. I can obviously, you know, not everybody does this, but you can certainly have other lights. You can have other lights in your setup. This has now become a three light setup, okay? Um, which, and you know this, you know that if I was shooting a self tape, I would zoom in or somehow get rid of all the stuff that you're seeing on the sides. You know that, right? Of course you do. You know that, I know that. I'm just showing you this shot because I'm, again, talking about the backdrop, I'm gonna swap it out. All right. So there's my iPhone feed now. Um, even that, yeah, it's doing some automatic uh, light adjusting and that looks halfway decent, I suppose. Um, but we're gonna see what this looks like when you see when I turn my, when I move a little bit, the background, I think the, uh, the exposure is automatically adjusting on the iPhone, which is sometimes helpful, sometimes not. I've talked about that with you on videos about setting AEAF lock, so I'm not going to get into that here. Check out my other videos if you want some exposure tips. This weekend is going to be crazy hot in the Pacific Northwest. Jump in the lake, hit the pool, turn on the AC, go see a movie, do something. See you in a second. Um, hey y'all, don't tell Angela, but uh, I took down the backdrop. You see what I see back there? Okay, yes, um, spider crisis averted. I solved that problem. I don't kill spiders. I kind of like them. I don't know why I like them, um, but I do. So put it in a glass, took it outside. See you later, spider. Shh, don't tell Angela. One side is actually a little bit shiny or reflective. And so I think I'm gonna do a reverse. Okay, I flipped it around. It's still a little bit dark in here. It's not dark on me, because I'm wearing a white shirt. I'm well lit when I'm standing here, but obviously I get further away from that light source and the light, it falls off, it starts to decay. Don't know if that's the right proper term, but the uh, light doesn't reach as far back. So when I'm closer to the light, obviously I'm brighter. So back there, that's, that might look a little dim, you know? So either I have to get that light closer to the backdrop or as you saw before, I have to add light to the background. But uh, yeah, let me get this dialed in and then I'm gonna show you a frame that doesn't have all this other gack in it. I'm looking at the LCD, oh my fan's on. When you're making self tapes, you gotta minimize the noise pollution. Obviously, you know this. Now the exposure on this shot, um, I might wanna tweak it when I'm editing because it looks a little bright when I'm looking on that screen, but the backdrop, the, the brightness on the backdrop or the exposure looks pretty decent. I'm gonna try turning down that light a little bit. The light is turned up a little bit more than it was in that wide shot. Hold on, please. It's down to 90%. So this backdrop behind me, this is a newer or newer, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a strangely spelled word, N-E-E-W-E-R. Shout out to Tony Tibbetts. We've always called the, the brand newer because it sounds funny. It's a budget conscious brand. They have all kinds of stuff, photography based stuff, stuff like this, all kinds of, all kinds of gear. And it's, uh, the prices are friendly, okay? This is a 10 foot by 12 foot, 10 feet wide, 12 feet long, 
Obviously this is their gray color. They have a few different options. I can tell you right away that I like this better than the backdrop that was up here before just because it's lighter. It's still in that gray world, but the other backdrop I had actually had some green in it that I didn't love. One light, again, this is one light, so you're getting a lot of shadow over here. If you wanted to fill in that shadow, you can take that light and move it this way, put it right behind the camera, or you can add a fill light somehow, put a light over there, put a reflector over here, something, something, something. And like I said before, since I do have multiple lights in here, I can also pop in that light that's over there. I'll show you that here on the other camera. And I'm going to turn that off to show you what this looks like on the iPhone without that light on. Because standing here, the exposure looks halfway decent, but still a little bit dark, honestly. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is me. Hey, here's me over here. Here's me on this shot. Um, doesn't look terrible. But again, you can see the, the shadow side is pretty shadowy. It's pretty dark. When I had the, you know, the, that you're seeing the part of the room that way. Here is that light. That's what that light looks like. It's a soft box. I have two of those, one on each side, should I need them. And now let us turn on this light again here. Pop that on. And let's look at this iPhone feed again. Not bad, especially if I'm standing here. My background is lit fairly well. And now that light is actually kissing some light onto my cheek as well. So that's what this new gray look has given me. I'm going to show you one more thing while I have your ear. This might be helpful for you to know that if you're not going to get a backdrop stand and hang a giant curtain on your wall, that you might want to get something like a collapsible backdrop. And these can be leaned against walls or they can, and look that blue color, it really kind of pops. And here's my, more or less, my medium close-up. I'm a little bit far away from my microphone here, but that's, that's what the color blue looks like. Just one light. Again, I'm using, I'm filming with the camera here, so things look really quite nice. But when I grab the iPhone footage, what that looks like, let me pull up that camera. Uh, okay. Hey, y'all. David Hogan, ABC Talent. Uh, I'm reading for the part of uh, Billy Bob Jean the third, and that doesn't look too bad. Um, obviously, the framing, seeing all that blue behind me, I could play around. It's kind of hot, hot day today, so excuse the production values. I look kind of like a sweaty mess, but uh, I wanted to get another video down here and get it ready for you. Let's put that other light on. Um, now things are looking a little bit too bright, but as you can see, Depending on distance, where you are, where the light is, where the backdrop is, sometimes you may need to add light to your background if it's too dark, or just bring your lighting units closer to you so everything looks good. Because we don't like really dark, muddy, muddy meaning dark and ugh, ugly. We don't like ugly frames. Right? You want to look good. You want to pop. I kind of like that blue. Maybe the next time I do a self-tape, I'm going to use the blue. I'm definitely going to use either that blue or that new backdrop because I'm excited. And if nothing else, I got a new piece of gear. That that newer, that newer backdrop is very affordable. So, all right, that's it. That's your backdrop tutorial. Break a leg at your next audition. I'm out of here.